If you're looking to extend your stay out in the bush, the best way to do that is to supplement your auxiliary battery system with solar power. Now, solar panels aren't a new thing. They've been around for many years. And it's a fact that solar power is an abundant source. In fact, more power falls on the earth from the sun in one hour than what the entire world will use in a day. So there's a lot of this power that we can harness out here, and I'm gonna show you how we do it. Now, there's a few different ways that you can set up your solar panel, and it all depends on what your application is and how you like to camp. You might have a caravan or a camper trailer or a rooftop tent where you might want to be able to actually mount something on the caravan camper trailer or on the vehicle itself, and that's where you would use a flat monocrystalline panel like this. You can also have foldable type setups where you can actually have a couple of flat monocrystalline panels and you have them stored in the back of the four wheel driver and a toolbox on the caravan or camper trailer and you can get those out, fold them out at camp and move them around throughout the day. And it allows you to park your vehicle in the shade rather than in the sun. You can also get fabric backed monocrystalline panels like this guy here. And what this one is monocrystalline cells that are on a fabric backing you can hang this from a tree, put it on the bonnet of the car, out on the ground somewhere. Nice and lightweight, nice and easy to pack away. You can go in the drawer set, in the glove box, anything like that. So it's important, no matter what type, size, or how your solar panel is mounted, you must have a solar regulator. And the reason for that is, is a 12 volt solar panel like these guys can put out somewhere between 19 and 25 volts in full good sunlight. If you're looking at a 12 volt battery that you're charging, obviously that's far too high. So the role of the solar regulator is to actually bring that panel voltage down to a voltage that is suitable to apply to that battery and bring it up to full charge. You can also get remote monitors like this here, where this will actually tell you everything that's going into that battery in terms of watts, so you know exactly how your solar panel is performing. So all in all, there's a solar panel to suit every application and every budget. If you're looking at staying out here for more than a couple of days and you don't want to have to drive anywhere to charge your batteries back up, solar panels are a great way to help achieve that.